Okay, I wanted to do a quick video and um, excuse my voice. I'm getting over being sick. But, um, <clears throat> um, so everybody normally buys flood or some type of porn medium. And so what I learned is you could take uh, glue, glue all, um, any kind of PVA glue. And, um, but I bought clear to see if it'll make the colors come out more vibrant. Um, but you'll need some type of PVA glue and then uh, vegetable glycerin. And what the glycerin does is it helps the uh, paint to move better, but it also keeps your paints from cracking. This is what I've heard, so we're going to give it a try. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I should have done had this open, sorry. All right, you'll need a measuring cup, or you can eye it, but I'm going to measure it the way that I learned, um, and you need 400 milliliters, there's 200, and so um, I've been doing my research because, number one, I mean, Floetrol is not that expensive here. I think like at Lowe's you can get this little small uh, quart for like $12 or $13. Or you can order um, a gallon for like $27 off Amazon. But so I spent $20 on this glue. And if I'm not mistaken, I spent like $17 on this vegetable glycerin. And this will last me for a year or more. Um, so again, I'm going to, that was 200 milligrams. Okay, another 200 milligrams. I'm just using an old flood bottle. I save all of my containers for paints and anything. Keeps you from having to go out and spending money on things that you don't have to spend money on. Because believe me, I know we all spend way too much money on craft stuff. I'll scoop the rest of that out in a minute. Alright, so 400 milliliters of PVA glue. And then I'm just going to, I don't have a small measuring spoon to use. I got to get some for my arts. Um, but a quarter teaspoon. That's about a quarter teaspoon of your glycerin. And then you need 100 milliliters, which I measured this out, 100 milliliters of water. And then it'll stay good as long as you keep it in an airtight container. Um, and again, I haven't worked with this yet, so um, it may be like Floetrol that you have. You need a strainer when you pour your Floetrol. Um, to keep any like little things to you know falling in your paint and then the directions is is you either you can use one part paint to one part of your pouring medium or you can use two parts pouring medium to one part paint um, I guess it just depends on the consistency that you're looking for and so um, 
but I just wanted to share that little tip with everybody and I'm gonna play around and see what I think about it but my thought is um, with this being clear that your colors will probably be a little bit more vibrant than what they are when you use the white flow trawl or a white TV glue and um, but I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna let it settle and then I'm gonna paint so stay tuned thank you for watching please subscribe share and like One other thing, sorry, but that's what I was getting at. So this bottle of glue, you saw it was 400 milliliters um, for, you know, and let's see, that's, so that's halfway full. Um, and so your mixtures, if you wanted to do like a whole bottle, um, which again, I'm going to, Try to paint with it first before I go and start doing that. But um, so all you do is do 800 milliliters to um, a half of your glycerin, and then 200 milliliters of water. Um, so, but as far as cost efficient goes, like I said this was 20. So let's say 40 dollars that I spent. For these items I'm probably gonna get um, I'd have to do the math but I'm gonna get a lot more for my money out of these two items than I would to keep buying flood um, and again this is just a tip that I've got and I wanted to pass it on all right, guys. Thanks for watching.